Good evening, all of you. My name is KDVL Shyamsundar, working as an assistant professor in the Department of Applied Sciences and Humanities, SESI Institute of Technology and Engineering, Tadabali Gudim. Today, I would like to discuss about vector identities. Right? So, all of you are familiar with uh, the basic concepts of vectors regarding uh, gradient of a scalar point function and divergence of a vector point function and curl of a vector point function. So, they are the basic concepts to do for vector identities. The heading meaning is very clear. So, identity means it holds for everything. So, do you know the difference between equality and identity? So, equality means just comparing two parts whether they are equal or not. Identity means it holds for every function. So, if you substitute in place of that function or vector function, uh, any function if you replace then that will hold forever. That is the meaning of identity. So, vector identities. Identity is related with vectors. Now, coming to <coughs> the first identity that is gradient of a bar dot b bar is equal to b bar dot del into a bar plus a bar dot del into b bar plus b bar cross curl a bar and a bar cross curl b bar. So, in this the question is prove that. So, this is LHS and that is RHS. We have to prove that LHS is equal to RHS or RHS is equal to LHS. That is the meaning of prove that. Now, coming to, so I will take the RHS part and I will bring that LHS. So, in that RHS we have four subparts. One is b bar dot del into a bar a bar dot del into b bar and b bar curl b bar cross curl a bar and a bar cross curl b bar. So, I will take one of them. I will take that first one, last one first. That is a bar cross curl b bar. Let us take this. Later, I will take b bar cross curl a bar. Now, what is the meaning of this? So, here a bar cross a bar is a vector function cross coming to curl b bar. We know that the definition of curl b bar as symbolic form is del cross b bar. So, that is the meaning of curl b bar. And coming to sigma notation, the curl b bar, that is a bar cross del cross b bar. We know the definition of curl of a vector point function. Basing on that, the del cross b bar is defined as sigma i bar cross, that is dou b bar by dou x. This is the definition of del cross b bar, nothing but curl b bar. Now, coming to a bar cross sigma i bar cross dou b bar by dou x. Here, sigma meant for i bar and x. So, sigma runs with i bar and x. But here, we have a bar and b bar both. So, you can take this a bar inside the sigma. That means, sigma a bar cross i bar cross dou b bar by dou x. Okay. So, sigma a bar cross i bar cross dou b bar by dx. Because we can take this a bar outside sigma or inside sigma, wherever necessary. Right. Coming to this, sigma a bar cross i bar cross dou b bar by dou x. Now, we have a result from uh, 10 plus 2 class or intermediate class that uh, when triple products, vector triple products, that is a bar cross b bar cross c bar, we know that expansion as a bar dot c bar into b bar minus a bar dot b bar into c bar. That is the result we have. So, a bar dot c bar into b bar minus a bar dot b bar into c bar. That is the basic concept regarding uh, triple product of a vectors. Now, apply here that concept. Here a bar, b bar, c bar. Let us suppose. Now, applying that concept, what you will get? So, a bar dot dou b bar by dou x, a, b, a bar dot dou b bar by dou x into i bar minus a bar dot i bar into dou b bar by dou x. Applying the same concept here. This is a bar, this is b bar, this is c bar. Let us suppose. Now, a bar dot dou b bar by dou x into i bar minus a bar dot i bar into dou b bar by dou x. Now, separate the sigma for both the terms. So, here I will write i bar first, i bar of a bar dot dou b bar by dou x, maintain bracket, minus separating sigma, sigma a bar dot i bar into dou b bar by dou x, right. So, maintain brackets. Now, coming to this, keep the term as it is, the first term, sigma, sigma i bar into a bar dot dou b bar by dou x. Keep the term as it is. Now, in the second part, you can take that a bar outside of sigma. That is a bar dot sigma a bar dot sigma i bar into dou b bar by dou x. Just taking a bar outside of sigma and taking sigma inside. So, a bar dot 
sigma i by i pi bar into dou b bar by dou x. Now coming to this, this term as it is, sigma i bar into a bar dot a bar dot a bar dot dou b bar by dou x. This part as it is, first term as it is, coming to this, a bar dot sigma i bar dou by dou x, maintain bracket for these two terms and outside d bar, this b bar written outside. Now this is nothing but sigma i bar of a bar dot dou b bar by dou x as it is minus a bar dot coming to this sigma i bar dou by dou x that you can write as using the definition of del that will be the del sigma i bar in dou by dou x that part will be denoted by del outside b bar as it is. So what is this part on left side a bar cross curl b bar it is cross. So a bar cross curl b bar is equal to sigma i bar into a bar dot dou b bar by dou x minus a bar dot del into b bar. Now the value of this last term is a bar cross curl b bar is we have like this. Coming to the previous term b bar cross curl a bar. In the same way we can proceed. So this is a bar cross curl b bar. That is b bar cross curl a bar. Doing like this we will get the answer like this. Coming to the second part. Now similarly b bar cross curly a bar taking this part so doing like this we will get the answer i will write the answer directly that will be sigma just replace interchange a bar and b bar what you will get b bar dot dou a bar by dou x maintain bracket here i bar so sigma i bar into b bar dot dou a bar by dou x minus b bar dot del into a bar here it is a bar and b bar, a bar and b bar. Here it is b bar and a bar, b bar and a bar. Just replacing a bar by b bar and b bar by a bar, you will get the structure like this. This is the answer for b bar cross curly a bar. Now we have a bar cross curly b bar and b bar cross curly a bar. Both the terms we have. So here addition. Now sum up both the quantities, we will get now a bar cross curly b bar plus b bar cross curly a bar. That will be equal to sum of these two terms in right hand side. Now sigma a bar dot dou b bar by dou x here i bar into minus a bar dot del into b bar plus this term sigma i bar into b bar dot dou a bar by dou x minus b bar dot b bar dot del into a bar. Now in this right hand side, sigma i bar, here i bar, i bar into a bar dot dou b bar by dou x and here sigma i bar into b bar into dou b bar by dou x. So this term and this term just grouping and remaining two terms grouping. Now what is the letter h is b bar cross curly a bar plus a bar cross curly b bar plus b bar cross curly a bar. Bring this term and this term into left hand side. Then what you will get? a bar cross curly b bar plus b bar cross curly a bar, they are already on LHS and taking this term and this term both into left hand side, we get a bar dot del, del into b bar plus b bar dot del into a bar. So four terms on LHS, that is nothing but our RHS. Now that will be equal to the remaining two terms. Here sigma i bar into something, here sigma i bar into something. Now take sigma i bar common. Then what you get? A bar dot dou b bar by dou x plus b bar dot dou a bar by dou x. Now that is nothing but sigma i bar into it is just like uv formula u dv by dx plus v du by dx. Now that is but derivative of dou by dou x of a bar dot b bar. So dou by dou x of a bar dot b bar. Now that is nothing but sigma i bar into dou by dou x of that. So this is nothing but the definition of grad. So grad of or gradient of a bar dot b bar. That is our LHS. Now see here once again. Question is prove that. So left hand side we have grad of a bar dot b bar. On right side we have four terms. I am taking the last term. So a bar cross curl b bar. So a bar cross curl b bar nothing but del cross b bar. That is the definition of curl symbolic form. Coming to a bar cross del cross b bar. Writing in sigma notation sigma i bar cross dou b bar by dou x. Since a bar is Irrespective of sigma, we can take a bar inside the sigma. That's why sigma is outside a bar cross i bar cross dou b bar by dou x. Now this is a basic formula, vector triple products. So a bar dot dou b bar by dou x 
minus a bar dot i bar into w bar by x and writing this a bar in front a bar dot w bar by x and separating sigma sigma a bar dot i bar into w bar by x. So first term as it is coming to second term again I am taking a bar outside of sigma a bar dot sigma i bar w bar by x and first term as it is again a bar dot I just I will write b bar outside here b bar outside a bar dot sigma i, I, I into w by x of b bar. Now what is this? All this is regarding a bar cross curl b bar. So a bar cross curl b bar is equal to sigma i bar into a bar dot w bar by x minus coming to this term a bar as it is. This is the definition of our call uh, our gradient. That is nothing but sigma i bar w by x. So that part I will write it as del a bar dot del of b bar. So this is the value of a bar cross curl b bar. In the similar way coming to the previous term b bar cross curl a bar that is a bar cross curl b bar this is b bar cross curl a bar just replacing a by b bar a bar by b bar and b bar by a bar we will get the answer for this right away so b bar cross curl a bar is equal to just replacing a bar by b bar and b bar by a bar we will get this one now this is a bar cross curl b bar and that is b bar cross curl a bar summing up two terms we will get this term like this so in this term we have four terms on right hand side bring the second term and fourth term into left hand side along with these two terms so a bar cross curl b bar plus b bar cross curl a bar plus a bar dot b del into b bar plus b bar dot del into a bar. Now the remaining two terms are first term and third term. Coming to first term and third term, just taking sigma i bar common, the remaining two terms are in bracket. Now see the bracket. That is the formula of our derivative of a bar dot b bar. So dou by x of a bar dot b bar. So sigma i bar into dou by x of something. That is scalar point function. So that is the definition of gradient. So gradient of a bar dot b bar, that is our analysis that we have to prove.